The long season had taken its toll on the teams in terms of injuries and several high profile names were missing from the action. Those teams who still had unfinished business included Arno Dierkins, who was still in the hunt for third place in the standings. He'd be doing his thing this weekend with German passenger Andres Haller as Robbie Bax took time out to recover from his injuries. The Czech rider Lucas Czerny also had a new man on board in the shape of the Finn Larry Kunis and they were looking good together. Kuhn Hermans and Nicolas Mousset needed to put their mechanical woes behind them as they fought to defend against the challenge by Dierkin. In qualifying it became clearer just who might make the running in the Grand Prix races tomorrow. With a 65-point lead and 100 points still available, Etienne Bax and Kasper Stupilis still needed to box off that position. To make that happen, they needed a good start position, so that was what this was all about. Group A race, and Hermans Mousset hit the front with Compelart in Chopin and the Swiss Couch boys keeping them company. Stuart Brown and Josh Chamberlain were in fourth, but persistent hard riding saw them keep the pressure on and move into second place on lap six. Etienne Bax and Kasper Stupilis had a less than good start, seventh on lap one. They had to fight hard to make it past Marco Hines and Rudy Betchart, who eventually also overhauled their fellow countryman, Christoph and Maxime Kusch. Deeper into the race, and Brown Chamberlain had moved into a strong second place. Compelati and Chopin again underline the improvement they've made as the season has unfolded. The Italian can always start well, but now he can hold the pace for much longer. Brown and Chamberlain would hold second to the flag despite a strong challenge from Etienne Bax in the closing stages. At the front though, Hermans and Mousset did a great job in front of Mousset's home crowd and they took a five second advantage all the way to the flag. Group B and away they went with the defending champions Marvin van Nukenen and Ben van der Bogart making no mistake. They took the lead from the word go and never looked back. They led a real battle, race long, between Brett Wilkinson, Rye Humphrey, Arna Dierkins, Andrew Saller and Jake Brown and Joe Millard. These three crews had a fantastic fight ahead of a very similar scrap between the Czech Lucas Czerny and Kurt Varick and Loris Diders. These five crews were very entertaining throughout the race, with Gary Moulds and Brian Anthony doing another great job behind them. This Irish-Australian duo have had some good results recently, and it all looks very rosy for tomorrow. Check out all the information here on the website. We'll be bringing you all the action as it happens with news reports and updates. Stay with us over the weekend on FIMCyclecross.com.